Welcome to this video tutorial which demonstrates how to parameterize ABAP Core Data Services views and consume them on SAP HANA. Various enhancements of the ABAP CDS have been delivered with the support package 8 of the application server for ABAP 7.4. New expressions and functions, including unit and currency conversion functions, are provided. The parameterization and the modification-free enhancement of views are now supported. Also, areas such as CDS annotations, train type for associations, and path expressions have been enhanced. The focus of this video is on the parameterization of CDS view. Parameterized views enables you to define general views which can produce context-specific result sets by using parameter values passed at execution time. For example, you can filter records for a view without creating separate views for each filter value. Another example, you can compute the, com the amount of the value added tax without creating a view for each country. In the system demo, we will see how to define input parameters in a CDS view, how to use these input parameters in the view definition. We we'll also, and last but not least, how to call such a parameterized view with OpenSQL in an ABAP program. Let's start with the system demo. The ABAP Core Data Services view used for this demo joins and associates the data from different NetWeaver APM tables. Different fields and expressions are contained in the select list. We can have a look at the result set in the data preview. Let's go back to the source editor and parameterize the view. To achieve this, we first have to define the required input parameters by specifying the statement with parameters directly after the defined view statement. One or more parameters can be defined in a comma separated list. Each of them must be typed either with a predefined data type or with a data element from the ABAP dictionary. In this demo, we need three parameters for passing language key, saving rate, and lifecycle status information to the view entity at runtime. Parameter names are not case sensitive and blanks within the comma separated list are ignored. Having done that, we can now make use of the declared parameters as operand at different positions in the view definition. For example, instead of always selecting the German text of the product description, and if not available using the English text as fallback, we will now select the description using the language key parameter, which can, for example, pass over the user logon language at runtime. English remains the fallback language. As next step, we will replace the fixed saving rate with the appropriate input parameter. Only operands of, of type float are allowed in the present arithmetic expression. Therefore, we have to cast the parameter appropriately. As you may have already noticed, there are two syntaxes for using input parameters in a view definition. Input parameters can also be specified as element of the select list with an alias assigned to it. Let's specify the saving rate parameter as a column field. As last change, we will specify a where clause based on the lifecycle status parameter, which is used as right side of the conditional expression. So that's it. We can now activate the CDS view definition. Let's have again a look at the data preview. A dialog window is now popping up. It gives us the possibility to enter test values for each input parameter. In the data preview, we can see the product definition, the calculated overall savings, and the new saving rate column. Let's go back to the editor. A parameterized view can be used in another view either as data source or in path expression. 
As next step of this demo, I will create a new CDS view which displays all the fields of the previous one. For that, the parameterized view is specified as data source and must be followed by a parenthesized comma separated list of all parameters with each of them assigned with a suitable value, either a fixed value or an input parameter. We will use input parameters in this demo. So let's simply use the parameters definition from the previous view and make the appropriate assignment. It is important to mention that views with parameters represent a database extension that is not supported by all database systems. View with parameter are, for example, supported on SAP HANA. We are now ready with the view definition. Let's activate it. In the last step of this demo, we will now call our parameterized view in an ABAP program using OpenSQL. I have prepared some ABAP code templates for the purpose. Before executing view with parameters or other database specific features, it is recommended to first check whether the access to database system supports this feature. This can be easily done using the method use underscore features of the class CL underscore ABAP underscore DB features. Similarly to the use of a parameterized view in another view, the view name must be followed by a parenthesized comma separated list of all input parameters and suitable value must be provided. In OpenSQL, the equals sign is used instead of the colon sign. Let's activate the report executed and check the result. In case an OpenSQL statement select is executed with a parameterized view or a view that contains such a view, but the database system does not support them, a non-handleable exception is raised. That's the end of the system demo. Detailed information on the creation and consumption of parameterized view is available in the standard ABAP documentation. For more information, guides, and tutorials, visit the ABAP for SAP HANA space on SCN.